Now that Mary has developed her flow on how she's going to deliver her free five day fitness plan, which is in the form of a PDF, we are going to make it so that we can collect those email addresses and export them to a Google sheet. So what you want to do is in your dashboard, go down to where it says settings. Now, if you've already done this, you don't have to do this every time, but most people when they're just getting started have not gone to their integrations and turned on their Google Sheets account. So we're gonna connect our Google Sheets account, select the account you want to connect. This is going to allow ManyChat and Google Sheets to basically speak to one another so that we can send data out or we can retrieve data and bring it into ManyChat. So let's go back to our flow that we created prior and that is our fitness plan delivery. We're gonna to go to edit flow and we are going to go to where we're asking for their email. Now, once we've asked for everything that we wanna ask for, the final action is going to be sending that information to our Google Sheets. So in this case, we're going to be asking for their email address and then we're going to perform this action. So click on perform action. We're going to click on the action and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see Google Sheets action. Again, if you don't see this, make sure to go to your settings and tie those two together with an integration connection. Now we have two choices here. We can insert a row, meaning we can send data from ManyChat over into Google Sheets, or we can get a row by value, meaning we can take information out of Google Sheets and into ManyChat. That actually is really handy when it comes to unique coupon codes. But in this example, we wanna get those email addresses onto our spreadsheet. So we are going to insert a row. Now ManyChat is actually going to talk to Google Sheets and it's gonna bring in all the sheets that we have available. All you have to do is select the sheet that you want. So prior to doing this, you'll need to have gone in and created a spreadsheet, which is what I did here for Mary. We have their name and their email address. So this is where we're gonna collect all that information for Mary's subscribers. So back over to ManyChat, we know that we're doing Mary's fitness subscribers. It's gonna ask me what worksheet. So in Google Sheets, you can have multiple worksheets. We're gonna use the free five day plan. Now we need to let ManyChat know what data do we want to go into which column in Google Sheets. So for our name column, we're gonna send over their full name. And for our email address, we're gonna use the custom user field where we save their information. Now we know that our full name will be sent to the column name and the email address custom field that we're saving is going to be sent to the column email address. And that's it, just click save. Now that our action is all set up, we'll hit publish. So when someone goes through this flow, which I'll show you right now, their data will be sent to Google. So we're gonna confirm our email. It's triggering at that point into the Google Sheets, and then there's how I access my plan. So let's go look at the sheet. And there I am. There's my email, there's my name. Now it's important to keep in mind that every time you put one of these actions in, it will create a new row, which is why if you're gonna be asking for additional things like their phone number or you have different questions that you're saving to the user custom fields, you wanna make the last question that you ask trigger the Google Sheet action. Now let's move on to setting up Mary's Facebook ad and tie it all together.